the sun is. Get in this tuk tuk. We're in the Plaza de Armas of Pisac and we're the only ones here. They turned their store into a mask place. Now we're gonna go to the famous Pisac market. ¿Quieres tapa? This is the bathtub. We're Alex and Lindsay, two travelers who were exploring South America when suddenly a strict lockdown began leaving us stuck abroad. We've been here for months, and even though lockdown has lifted, things in Peru are far from normal. We're documenting the whole thing and sharing it with you. Good morning guys from Pisac, Peru again. Today we're at Wolf Totem Hostel, and we're gonna have some breakfast in here. Or by breakfast, I guess I mean coffee. I think that's all they have right now because of the current situation, but usually they'd have a bunch of food here. But let's go check it out. So this morning we're in the Wolf Totem Hostel for our breakfast, or basically for coffee, which we have every day. And, and the hostel has such a beautiful vibe. We just had coffee and it's made out of this very antique looking coffee maker. So we're gonna get some work done in this hostel, show you around a little bit, and then we'll go to town. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Let's get lunch. We're at a new Airbnb here in PSAC at Wolf Totem. We'll be giving you a tour, but right now we're gonna go to town really quick to check out a little bit of PSAC and get some food. So guys, there are two ways to get into PSAC. One, you can walk and it would take about 15 minutes, or you can take a tuk-tuk and it takes less than five minutes. And it's about 50 cents. So pretty cheap. So we're gonna do that and show you that you can do it this way. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Dos soles. Let's get in this tuk tuk. So these cool little colorful contraptions are tuk tuks. I'm not sure really what they call them in Peru. Uh, they're all over the world and they have different names. I think they call them tuk tuks here. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to find them during this time during COVID because there's not a lot of tourists. So I don't think as many are out, but luckily we got one. So, we'll be there in a few minutes. We're in the Plaza de Armas of Pisac only ones here except for one cop in the corner <laughs> this is kind of a strange sight I would imagine we haven't seen it when it's operating normally but I can imagine this would be filled with people normally when it's not COVID times nobody this way almost nobody this way so we're yeah. trying to find a place to eat here and it's rather difficult. It's not like Cusco there, where there's a bunch of things open. Really hard. There's literally a select few restaurants and we've been to all of them. <laughs> so we wanted to try something new. So we're gonna keep trying. We're rocking around, but we can't find anything. Most likely we'll go to the same place. We have like two places we go to and we keep going there. Cause... And they're good, but we just like to switch it up. Yeah, there's some restaurants and cafes that are open now that typically serve food, but right now they're only doing coffee. So we walk into those and they say, no food. Yeah, that's a mocha. All right, so first stop of the day, we're stopping to get some coffee and the pastry. Dessert. <laughs> Never too early for dessert. Never. Uh, with Roberto, who took in 
Mr. Potato Head the other day, and he's giving us some good news. He's getting more comfortable, not leaving his side. And we so. have some videos that they sent us that we're going to show you guys. He's doing really great. So we're not allowed to sit next to each other. So shopping. I just wanted to let you know. Yeah, okay. Okay. yeah I don't know. Okay. So the police just came in and it looked like they were doing some checks here. So they made sure that they had this distancing stuff on the floor that people were social distancing and they had all their paperwork for the lockdown. Not a good sign. Okay. Look at this. <laughs> they turned their store, whatever it used to be called, into a mask place. So they're a mask vendor. And now that's that's what they do for money. This is the most people we've seen in here in a while. Wow. We should just order. It's almost like back to normal. So I got some tequeños. I already ate about half of them, but they're basically these deep fried wontons with cheese inside. And then you dip them in the guacamole. <laughs> And then I got the chicken tacos, as always. Okay, just finished our breakfast, and now we're going to go to the famous Pisac Market. We're gonna see if any of the juice stand ladies are there selling juices. Oh. This is like a little uh, cafe. So the best part about the Pisac market is these ladies that make the smoothies over here. So they're here today finally and we're going to continue coming here every day to get these smoothies because you can get two, three or four fruits and vegetables in there and it's usually around six sole, seven if you get a lot. So I just got a mango, spinach, passion fruit, and milk smoothie. Maracuya, espinica, mango. I'm getting a banana, maracuya, espinica, and carrot juice smoothie. Zanahoria. And one helpful tip, because you can get sick from the water here, possibly, sometimes they use the water out of the sink because locals can do that, but you should tell them nothing with water from the sink. And so if they need more liquid, they'll add carrot juice or zanahoria juice to give it a little more liquid. Every fruit that you could want. So we just left the market. We got these smoothies. They're huge. We got these for three dollars for both of them. So a dollar fifty each. Cheap in the road. Very Peruvian. So guys, we just saw a little trail here going parallel to the road we usually take, which is like the main road where cars go. And look. Nice little river. With some cliffs. Bunch of houses, some cliffs. So we're gonna take this and see if we come across anything interesting. But before we took this little path, we were on the main road and we weren't wearing our masks because we're in the middle of nowhere. There's no people around. And anytime we do see people walking on that road, they don't have them on because <laughs> there's no one They around. never have them on because it's a good 10 minute walk with nobody around. No houses, really nothing. Just far from everything. So it's nice to get a break from your mask before you go into town. So you can breathe a little. Yeah. <laughs> and you're not putting anyone in danger by doing it. So. And the cops came up. And yeah, they drove ah. right up to us. And they stopped us. <laughs> they were speaking a lot of Spanish and we acted like we didn't speak any Spanish. They were asking for our documents and stuff because they probably wanted to find us for not wearing our masks. In the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but. I don't know. They, I think they gave up trying to communicate with us and they kept going once we put on our masks. But we had our masks very close. We had them ready to yeah. put on but around nobody at all. We so. just wanted to share that with you guys so you understand 
how strict Peru has been. And we appreciate the rules to some extent for safety, but also we figured we could use some common sense. If there's no one around us, yeah. why would we wear a mask? We live together. So I guess we'll be wearing our masks on a 15 minute walk to town with no one around. So also we thought we would take this opportunity to tell you guys about the rumors that we've been hearing from everybody. Yeah. So lockdown kind of ended in a few cities like Cusco where we were for four months. I'd say in the majority of Peru lockdown lifted for the last month or so. Yeah, so we had a good month where a lot of things were lifting, things they, were opening yeah, up. Yeah, they opened domestic flights from Lima even. So Lima, where things were not doing very well, uh, Lima opened up, domestic flights happened, so we started seeing planes flying overhead for the first time in months. And people came and spread the virus. Yeah, like yesterday, Cusco increased in cases of COVID by 300, I think, in just one day. So we've heard that they might go back into lockdown. We don't really know where would be the best place to be. We don't really want to go back to Cusco. We spent a bunch of time there. We'd like to have more freedom and be in nature. So PSAC might be the place. Yeah, so after many months of lockdown, being stuck in our house, finally getting a little bit of freedom for a few weeks, we might go right back to what we were just doing for the last few months. We might go right back into house arrest, basically. No. Which is very unfortunate. We finally were able to see some things in Peru, but now we're gonna get stuck again. It really sounds like it. We don't know for sure yet. Yeah, but, nothing's official. But that's what we're hearing. Uh, this region, we're very close to Cusco, and we hear the Cusco region is probably gonna go into lockdown. So that would include us, most likely. So for now, we're just gonna try to travel as much as we can and see new areas, and if we get wind that there is gonna be an official lockdown, we'll just try to retreat back to PSAC. Cause yeah. they have a big market here, there's nature. <sighs> yeah, that's what we're thinking is PSAC, but if you guys know Peru well, and you have the choice between Cusco, Pisac and Oyantaytambo, where would you go? Let us know in the comments which one you would choose or and why. Else, if there's any other areas that we're not thinking of. Yeah, other than Lima. <laughs> mm. <sighs> so something that's pretty interesting, you see a eucalyptus tree here. Supposedly, Peru has a ton of varieties of eucalyptus and they brought them in from where was it Australia or New Zealand and that's why they have many 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 varieties for different purposes you'll see a bunch of people carrying around eucalyptus lately and we thought that was just a Peruvian thing but it's actually because of COVID people think because eucalyptus helps with your breathing mm -hmm. you know that is kind of a known fact it helps in a way with your breathing they think it'll keep away COVID or at least keep you breathing better, so. So people will carry these huge bushels on their back, and I think, do they boil them or burn them? I'm not sure, or I even just put them in their house. Yeah. You can do a tea, but I think just, they think just having the leaves around might help keep COVID away somehow. So, yeah, just thought we would share that with Fun you. Fun fact. <laughs> Fun COVID fact, if you're... There's a little waterfall here. Okay hey guys, we just got back and again we are staying at Wolf Totem, but we're in a different room. Switched it up a little bit. So, we're in another loft and let's show you a quick little tour. So this is a studio. So not a whole lot to show because it's smaller, but there's one awesome part of this place that we're kind of in love with. So we have a queen size bed over here, pretty basic. It's a platform bed though, so that's pretty cool. And the best part is this. So we have a hot tub, bathtub, shower combination built out of concrete right here in the center of the room. We're gonna squeeze both of us in here. Then have some wine. So this place, he said it's kind of like a couple's vibe, so that's the way that it was made. We have this cool mood lighting over here to put you in the mood when you're doing that. We have the sink here, so it's kind of just a small bathroom 
this is just a toilet in this right here. And then you have to come over here to the sink and the mirror. You have some filtered water here. Then you have extra storage over here where you have some pots and pans, shelving, and some hangers if you want to hang up your clothes. You have all the kitchen utensils and things that you need. And that's basically it. Because it's a studio, it's not huge, but you have everything you need. Pretty cool little vibe in this place. That is by far the best part. That's the reason we wanted to stay here. We have a treat for you tonight though. If you think this is cool, there is another way you can bathe. You can bathe on a terrace on the side of a hill in a bathtub outside. And we're gonna show you that soon. So this is a pretty large property and if you go up there a little further on the hill, uh, there's the hostel, there are other Airbnbs, and then there's a bathtub just on some grass on like a terrace and you have this view like we have from here. So we're gonna go take a bath in the wild uh, and show you guys. Alright, we're in our beach clothes. <laughs> We're doing this for sunset, so it's getting kind of dark. It's very windy right now. Uh, oh. And cold, so. But we'll be warm in the tub. Let's go see what the tub looks like. It's on this little terrace. Our house is actually right there, so it's a little above us and it is currently being filled up right now. He put some flowers right here to make it a little more romantic. Not that you need that when you have a bathtub. He made it extra hot because once it fills, then it's just gonna be sitting and get cold pretty fast, maybe. So we gotta wait for it to cool down a little and then we're gonna hop in. <laughs> Look at the dogs. <laughs> we got some guard dogs too. <laughs> and pretty much the same view as it is from our house, which is just Perfect for you. Alright, the tub is filling up, it's hot, and I'm gonna get in because it's super cold out here, it's windy. Look at this view, guys. Our first bathtub outside. On a cliff, basically, overlooking the hills of Pisac and the ruins. It's gorgeous. What is more awesome? and romantic than this. And there's gonna be a sauna offered after this. So if you guys stay at this Airbnb, you can do this exact experience. All right, the tub is filling up, it's hot, and I'm gonna get in because it's super cold out here. It's windy. Oh. <laughs> it still feels super hot. I can't get in. <laughs> Our first bathtub outside. On a hill club. <laughs> yeah, some of our best experiences. <laughs> we are in a new Airbnb here. Oh, I just threw the key. Water from the sink. And so if they need more... What were you going to say? <laughs> What's up, guys? Now it's time for Q&A. All right, we have a few of your guys' questions here. So the first one is from the Peruvian chef in Oregon. He says, I have a question. If the lockdown is over, why are you guys still staying in Cusco? So the lockdown isn't over countrywide. It's in provinces, cities, different areas. Uh, choose different things. So... And borders are still closed. So we are still technically stuck in Peru. But we're not in Cusco anymore. Right now we're in Pisac, so we are trying to move around as much as possible to see other areas of Peru. But yeah, borders remain closed and cases continue to go up. So we can't go everywhere. There mm -hmm. are just a few places we can go. A lot of things are still closed, so it might not be technically lockdown, but in a way it's still kind of lockdown-y. Uh, we will figure out ways to get some of the places we want to go mm -hmm. in the next few videos, but can't go everywhere. Next one comes from Andreas Valencia, says, There's even a third and brand new Rainbow Mountain in Leo Cusco. It was discovered a few weeks ago during lockdown. 
So that is awesome. So if you aren't too familiar with Peru, there is a rainbow mountain here. Or there was one rainbow mountain, but mm -hmm. now there are several. We tried to go to one, a smaller rainbow mountain, and we couldn't get there. But because the it was located in like a small village, and a lot of small villages in Peru are very afraid of the virus. But we've heard that there's actually a lot of rainbow mountains all throughout Peru, but some are just not known or they're hard to get to. Yeah, so this one that was just discovered like very recently, like during this whole mm -hmm. pandemic thing, uh, that one we think we'll be able to get to. So we're really yeah. going to try to do that ASAP. Yeah, people say it's open right now. It's called Pale Puncho Apu Tacataco. <laughs> so hopefully Taco. we'll be the first ones to show you Aku Puku Da Taco as soon as possible. Next one comes from Drown Ruiz. Says, beautiful video. Show up all details about life in Cusco. Can you provide the name of the tourist guy or helper in your trip? So he's referring to Mickey. Yeah, so the one that we've been using, the guy who has become our friend named mm -hmm. Mickey, he kind of drives us everywhere and it's been amazing. Yeah. Uh, his information, we will link it right here. So you can call him, you can go to his YouTube channel, uh, any of that. And eventually he'll have a website and all these other things. But for now, yeah. just reach out on WhatsApp or something like that. Yeah, any video that we did with him will include his info. He's super fun, flexible, so some of our best experiences in Peru have been with him. So, And they will continue to be with him mm -hmm. because we're going to do a few more awesome things yeah. uh, with him. Next one is from Thomas Lau Shazaki. Are you guys planning to visit other regions of Peru soon? Yes, as much as we can. Like we said, it's kind of uh, city, town, province-wide lockdowns, so we don't really know exactly where we can go. Things are changing every day. But we aren't in Cusco anymore, we're in Pisac, so that's one new thing. We're gonna go to Oyentaytambo. <laughs> we're gonna go to Oyentaytambo. Oyente Oyente <laughs> we're gonna go there and see some stuff around there. Uh, and uh, we have a lot more on the list, yeah, but it'll all depend on lockdowns and everything, which so keep changing. So many things are still closed. Yeah. And we're hearing lots of rumors about another lockdown in Cusco. We're really scared about that. So we'll do what we can. Uh, look forward to other places until we get locked down again. All right guys, that's it for the Q&A. Please like this video, really helps us out. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of our videos. And comment down below, we always love hearing from you guys. Thanks so much for watching and... <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. If you want more, if you want daily stuff, you should head to Instagram, find us at Alexander Travel Bum. And that's where you'll find daily stories and photos about our travels. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Subscribe because I'm traveling all around the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Thanks.